Hi, good afternoon, it's Carla. So we're here on one of our sites, which is a little bungalow that was built in 1954. And as you can see some of what's going on, you're probably wondering what is happening here. Um, we are taking out a load bearing wall between the kitchen and the dining room and the living room, and we're making it a nice big open space. So I wanted to show you some things that are going on. So if you come here, I'm gonna show you a bit of things that um, we do in preparation for putting the beam in. So now you get to see in the space of where I'm standing. So these two things going on either side and you can see where the first three ply of this beam are already in. The two walls on the side are temporary load bearing walls and they preserve the structure and they make sure that the roof and the, the roof doesn't shift at all while we're putting this beam in. Later on, they're gonna come out. So they're nice insurance for your house, for your roof that um, everything stays neat and tidy and drywall doesn't crack or anything like that. So you can see here on the left hand side of the beam, see how the existing rafters in the attic, um, back in the 50s, they stick framed their attic roof systems here on site. And so that's why the walls were all load bearing. They built the walls and then they climbed up on top and they, they built the roof on top. We don't do it that way anymore. Um, so another time I'll show you how we do it nowadays. So we have on this left hand side of the beam, we've got our joist hangers all properly installed and they're structural joist hangers and they have special um, nails that attach them to the existing rafters. These are these things that are go left to right. And then we've got a three ply LVL beam. And LVL stands for laminated veneer lumber. So the structural engineer, he specs this all out. You can kind of see from the side here. It's gonna end up being a four ply beam. And here on the horses, we've got the fourth ply of the beam that's going up. And you can see all kinds of construction adhesive along it. Um, this adhesive has a rating so that it carries load. And then the engineer will spec out um, our nailing pattern so that, did you know that actually the nails themselves, they carry load? Crazy, hey? Okay, we'll show you some more pictures in a sec. So here we get to see the beam going up. Um, we've got James, my father, our general contractor, and as you know, he does work on site. And we've got Jacob and Jonathan. So we've called in the muscle today. So that little slot that you saw, you're probably wondering on the right hand side of the three triple ply beam, why is there an opening? That opening is where we're going to slide push, push, push. in this fourth beam. And then this all was the temporary wall. Um, one of the things I'll have to show you after is the temporary wall on the far corner. It's not even carrying any load, which is kind of neat. And there it goes. Neat and tiny, perfectly in space, yeah, in the right space. Yeah, and if you look here on the end, over I'll here, you one. can um, see if you follow with us up here, you can see where it's resting on the outside wall. And you can actually see the sunlight, and that's because we're going to build a nice little gable end on the outside of the roof. Um, Jacob, can you push on that and let Cassie see that? This one here, Cassie. Look at how that moves. This means the temporary support wall is here for support for the roof, but the beams are already carrying a load on the outside wall, and so this, this temporary support wall isn't even carrying a load at all anymore, which is kind of neat. So here you can see Jacob is tightening a clamp. So we clamp these LVLs, the laminated veneer lumber beams, clamp four of them together, and we slowly build this beam out. So it's built up from the back to this way, and they're glued and clamped together, and then they're nailed. Um, this was the area where I was saying, see how this rafter doesn't quite touch the beam? That's to allow enough space for the beam to come up, and the, then we will put um, a plywood spacer in there and joist hangers. So the joist hangers will slide up in space, and you'll get to see that in a minute here. the project. So we wanted to share with you how it looks after. Remember how last time we had all those 
temporary support walls that were holding up the roof system and we were putting in a load bearing beam so we could take walls out in this little bungalow. So that beam went in the attic and it went right from this corner here all the way to the exterior wall over here. So you can see when you look at the wall, it's right in about in this area that there's posts that are carrying the load from the end of the beam down to the foundation wall and you can't even tell where this was. Um, I love as well when you look at the ceiling, it's nice and open and clean. You can't see where the ceiling was patched. It should blend in nicely throughout the house. And when you look at the floor, this is actually one of my favorite things. I love that these bungalows, when they were built, they had this beautiful one and a quarter inch red oak on the floor. And we're able to patch in new red oak to match and then site finish the floor throughout so that you can't even tell that there used to be walls here. Um, there was the wall coming along and then one wall going this way in a tiny little kitchen. And as you can see, it's nice and open here um, for the homeowners. Can you imagine living, moving into this house and it's bright and open and sunny and it's beautiful? Um, it's, it's just amazing. So thank you so much for your time. And until next time, Mayfield Renovations, changing homes to reflect your unique personality.